Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy peanut butter cup. It's just a little cutie. Made a little wrapper for it, just kind of a half wrapper, so it's like you're going to eat it. And then it does come out. We've got the little grooves on the side. We've got some little groove lines down the sides to like the actual peanut butter cups. But I think it's a little cutie. And it's delicious. A lot of you guys have been asking for more like candy type things, I guess. You could make the wrapper larger so it actually covered the whole thing if you want to, but I think the little half wrapper is cute. And then you save a few bands that way too. Of course I should try and put it back in correctly. There we go. Better. Band wise, there is 206 brown um, for the peanut butter cup itself and then the wrapper was 163. And then you'll want eyes. These are 9 millimeter pony beads. You could probably use smaller ones if you wanted to. It's up to you. And then the cheeks and the mouth. Um, you could also use bands for the eyes too. So, But we'll get started. Put him right here. First, we need to make some wrapped bands. I like those. You need to have 12 of them. I'll put all this stuff in the description too below. But first, one band on the hook, wrap it around, double it. Another one on the hook, wrap it around, double it. And then pull through two bands through both of those. Like that. So you need 12 of these. If you have a latch hook, they'll go much quicker. So you want those made ahead of time. And then, for the eyes, you can either use the 9mm pony beads, or you can use wrapped bands. So two bands, whatever color you want the eye to be, on the hook, wrapped around, grab all the bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands through the middle. So you want two eyes, either beads or bands. I'll put the, be the bands through these beads when I get there. And then we have our cheeks, which are just one band, whatever color you want the cheek to be, on the hook, wrapped around. I'm going to grab both, double it again around, and then pull through two bands. I like that. And then you want two cheeks. So once you have all of that made, and then you can come back, and we'll start with the peanut butter cup on the inside. So you have the loom wrong end towards you. We'll start kind of in the center area here. So from the middle pin out, we're going to go out to the six pins around. Everything will be double banded unless I say differently. But So we'll start with two bands and just go out to the six pins around. And a starburst. Like that. Then you want two bands on the center pin. You want to wrap them around three times. So one, two, and three. Then go in through your center cap band that we just put on. Find the top two bands wherever they are and pull them up through the center and back towards themselves. And you'll do that all the way around. Like that. Push that down. Then we'll do a row around. And we're going to increase next, so if you're not familiar with that, start where I start, so you kind of follow me better. So two bands. Around the outside. Like that. I'm going to flip the bottom four on all the pins up over the top. And then 
push down and now we need to increase so starting over here on the lower right I'm going to pick up all four bands that are on this pin pull them down a pin then I'll grab the top two bands and pull them back up one then up here on the top right I'll pick up the top two bands and pull those up a pin and come over to the left top pick up all four bands bring them up a pin and then grab the top two, bring them back down to the pin they were on. In the lower left, I'll grab the top two, pull those down a pin. And then for the centers, I'll grab the top two bands. And mine are coming from the left, so I'm going to take them over to the left pin. And I'll grab the other two, and those will go to the right. In the top center, top two bands, tap two, they're going to go over to the left, and then the other two will go over to the right, like that. Now we're going to do a row around, two bands, So I kind of modeled this after the Reese's peanut butter cup. It's kind of my interpretation of it. But I have to say that sadly, these are not my favorite peanut butter cups. And it's kind of odd what ones are, because they're actually the ones that are like the Walmart brand of peanut butter cups. I know that's weird. <laughs> Kitty. I knew she was coming, she was poking at me. She wants to say hi. Hello. <laughs> and so like that and now we're going to be flipping the bottom two bands on all the pins I know usually I name brands usually taste better to me than some of the off brands but I don't know why they're just I guess they're have more chocolate and they're creamier I guess that. If you ever tried them, you have to let me know what you think compar comparison-wise. So now we're going to do a roll around, but this is where we're going to use our wrapped bands. So you want those. And you just take them, pull them out, and put them all the way around. It's kind of funny because Every once in a while I pick up a bag of them and they disappear pretty quickly around the house when we have sweets. And I hadn't bought them for quite some time until recently. And they were actually, they actually changed them and they made them all individually wrapped in like another you know, wrapper around the peanut butter cup itself and then they're wrapped again. And I kept thinking, no, you made it more difficult for me to eat these. Because before they used to just have, like they're just wrapped around the peanut butter cup themselves. They didn't have an extra wrapper around them. It's like they really just don't make any work to eat their peanut butter cups. And it makes me think a little bit more about how many I'm actually eating. one like that so we'll go around and flip the bottom four kitty's gotten big as you can see it's actually, I think, bigger, or a bigger cat than my other cats will be, or are. Push all those down. So now our next row is going to be our eye row, but we're also going to add on the little grooves down the side of the peanut butter cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a band, 
And if you just kind of follow me along here, we'll put them on. So one band, and we just put it on the loom and double it. And then one here. So these two pins, we're going to skip this third one. We'll put one right here on the fourth one up. Skip this one. And then we'll put one up here on the top. So one, two, three, and four. Skipping these two. Then we'll go to the other side, and all the way down the back we'll have bands. Of course, letting her come up on the table, I now have cat hair all over. Not like I really let her, but... So like that. Those on there. Now we'll take two bands. And we'll come across this bottom portion. And you'll grab the band that's on the right pin. Pull that over to the center. And then what you want to do is just preparing for cat hair. <laughs> preparing for when we go around. Just kind of go in through that little loop there, grab that band, and just pull it towards the top of the other one. So here's the band I pulled across, and then I just pulled that cat band up top of that one. And then we'll go to the next one right here, put it on, put that second pin up, pull over that cat band. This next spot is going to be an eye. So I'll make my eye. Two bands through. Then two bands here in the middle. Pull over the cap band. And then the other eye. My hands are cold. Not quite working right. And then two more. Pull over the cap band. And we'll kind of complete, do that all the way around the rest here. So two bands on. Pull over the cap band. Pull these over. And last one. So that cat band should be on top now, so I can just pull it right over. If I can grab it. Like that. It's not all the way around. You should have those cat bands or an eye. And then we'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Like that. And I'm just going to loosen this up here a little bit. Push everything down. So now we're going to do our cheek row. So you want your cheeks, but also when we go around, we need to pull through, pull our bands through our little cap bands that we put on last row. So I just take my two bands that I need, I'll take my hook. Go through that cap band from the last row that it's hanging off there. Pull my bands through and put them on the loom like that. And I'll just turn my loom 
as I go around makes it a little easier. So next one, pull the bands through. The next spot right below the eye will be a cheek. The next spot, pull through your bands. Then a cheek again. Oops. And then we just put the bands on and pull them through the other bands all the way around the rest. Turning the loom as you need to. Couple more. So like that, my bands pulled through all the cat bands and then the cheeks. So I'm gonna flip the bottom four. Push everything down. Now you'll want a mouth band, so whatever color you want the mouth to be. I'm going to turn my loom so the face is away from me. Take my mouth band, put it on my hook, wrap it around once to double the band. Then I'll take it off and hold it. Then I'll stick my hook down through the bands by the left eye. Grab that double band. Pull it up through and up over the top of the pin and then if I pull it down it'll be wrapped around the pin still hanging on to it I'll go over to the right put my hook through grab that double band pull it up through up over the top of the pin again pull it down so now we're wrapped around both pins and then we'll take this and flip it up over the top so it looks like that Then we're going to do another row around, again, pulling our bands through our little groove bands, our cap bands. I'll take my hook, put them through. Pull through. We do reduce next, so start where I start if you need to follow that exactly. Then the next spot here where the cheek is above, we're just going to put two bands. And where the mouth is, make sure that when you grab these cap bands, you're kind of in between the mouth and not like above it and pulling them over because otherwise it'll cover your mouth. So make sure you're pulling them up between the kind of top band, mouth band you can see in the bottom one. Keep going. It's 
funny because there's so many candies out there that I've thought about making. But a lot of times it's difficult because um, some candies are just so small or they're, um, unless I make them super size, which I can do I suppose, um, it's hard to find a place to put a, a smiley face all the time. That's usually what I run into whenever I think of making something is where am I going to put the face on there. <laughs> It's not always easy. So like that, fold through bands, except for by the cheeks, and then make sure that one by the mouth comes underneath. Then you flip the bottom four. That I like where this one is because he's just kind of little face is poking out of the wrapper. Alright, so push everything down. Now what we want to do too is pull up the center so it's not attached as much. Tuck in our end ones behind the pin here. So now we're going to reduce. We're going to reduce this third pin right here. So I'll pick up the top two bands. And they're coming from above, so I want to take them to the opposite pin. Then I'll grab the next two bands, and they should be coming from below, so they're going to go above. Then we'll reduce this top pin. So I'll pick up the top two. They're coming from the left, so I'll take them over here to the right. And the other two will come over to the left. And then coming down on the other side, on the left side, third pin, grab the top two. They're coming from below, so they're going to go above. And the other two will go below. And then way down here to the bottom left, grab the top two. They're coming from over here on the left, so we'll take them to the right. And then the other two will go to the left. I like that. So we'll do a row around this. Two bands. So it'll kind of be like a long stretch for a couple spaces. So here's normal. Then there'll be a long stretch here. Then normal. And a long stretch. Then normal. Another long stretch and normal like that. So then on every pin you're going to have two bands from the reducing that we did to flip over and then the bottom four from the row before. So the two reducing bands and then the bottom four. And once you pass these pins where the bands are just kind of around the outside, you can just tuck those in the, into the middle. Like that. You pull this up. Push everything down. So now we're going to reduce again. So lower right. Grab the top two. Coming from the right to the go over to the left. And the other two will come to the right. Then this pin right here. Top two. Coming from above. So they'll go below. So it is a long stretch. And then these two will go up. Then right here. It's coming from below, so they're going to go over to the other side. And these will go here. And then this pin over here. 
top two coming from below, so they're going to go up above. And the other two will go below. So push those down. We do definitely have a stretch here to do. So two bands across the bottom. And then this is a long stretch along the side. That's two bands and another long stretch like that. So now on every pin you're going to have four reducing bands to flip. Four reducing bands and then the bottom four from the row before. And flip these over towards the center. center and pull everything up carefully. Push these down. Like that. Now we are ready to close the peanut butter cup. So just start on one end, stick your hook through, pull it off, and work your way around the other side. Now once you get there, two bands, pull through everything on your hook, both ends on, do a slip knot, pull tight, hide your tail, And then it's kind of just a matter of smooshing it correctly. My cheeks all messed up. It's a little better. I think so. Peanut butter cup. Delicious. Um, you might have from the reducing where we did, the, or the last row there where we had that long stretch on the side, you might have some bands that kind of poke up more than they need to. I just take your hook and go in there and pull them down into the bottom of the peanut butter cup. I did one before using a different pattern where they really poked out and so I just noticed that so but it didn't seem to with this one as much. So peanut butter cup is done and delicious. So put that over here. Now for the wrapper it's a lot of repetitiveness I will probably fast forward through a little bit of it in editing. But you want your wrapper color. And you'll have the wrong end of the loom towards you. And I'm just going to start with the fourth pin up over here. But single banded. Go on the loom. Do a crossed band across. And then we'll go up eight. Crossing. Two. Three. Four. Seven. It's a good thing I didn't go up anymore. Eight. <laughs> and then we'll come back across the other side and back down towards us. like that. And then we're going to do a row all the way around just normally. 
single banded. It really feels weird to single band things. <laughs> like that. Then what you want to do is go and flip the bottom two on all your pins. We'll flip them towards the inside. everything down and now we want to do another seven rows around just like that so same thing single band all the way around and this will be row one that's how I'll count it all the way around, flip your bottom two, and then once you're done with that row completely, Mark your row so you know how many you have done. So now we need to do six more, just like that. Um, keep in mind, like I said, the wrapper itself, the way I made it, it doesn't quite cover the whole the cat hair. It doesn't quite cover the whole peanut butter cup. So if you want it to be like a little bit bigger, you'd have to add more rows. Um, so I mean, the eight rows here that I did, or yeah, eight rows. Um, it's roughly three quarters of the way covering the peanut butter cup so you probably want another four or five rows if you want to cover it like to the end of it um, it's up to you or of course if you want to do like an actual double peanut butter cup thing then you'd have to add quite a few more rows so just kind of keep that in mind as you're going along so six more rows um, just keep flipping just keep letting go towards the inside and like I said I'm gonna fast forward through this kind of portion here until we get to the end where we need to close it. So I'll make my next six rows all single banded. All right, so I've got my the other six rows that I need to do. So a total of seven rows after the kind of extra row in that row below. I'm just going to tuck these a little bit from inside. This one down here on this end, I'm going to kind of pull in completely. Grab little edges, pull them up to kind of up over the top center pins a little bit. I'm not completely doing this end down here. 
just a little bit, kind of like that. So now we're ready to close this off. I'm going to do it by braiding. So I'm going to take my hook and go in through, cat hair everywhere, <laughs> go in through the right with my hook, pull the bands off, go on to the left, then I'll pull the left through the right, then I'll come back to the right, pick those up, pull those through the bands that were on my hook, then come over to the left, pull those through, and just keep alternating as I go down the loom. And I'm just going to keep pushing this back towards me as I do. As you get closer to the end, if this isn't kind of unbunched, it'll get stuck behind these pins. So it'll kind of look like it it almost be want to be inside out. So you gotta kind of adjust it. So you're looking a little bit like this. Make sure you push these down if you're doing any moving of the big portion in the center there. Then just keep going towards the beginning. And try not to lose the last ones. So once you get it all off of the loom, you'll take two bands, or a band, sorry, habit. Take a band, pull it through those four bands that are left on your hook, bring it back on, do a slip knot. And then I just kind of turn it inside out. Although you could use this side if you wanted to. So if you like this side for the wrapper, then just leave it like this. But if you want to use the other side, then you need to hide your tail on the inside. Just grab it, pull it through until the little bump kind of pulls to the other side. Like that. So either way you want to have the wrapper, you can. It's just it's not quite as form-fitting the other way as it is if you use this side. And just tuck in your little peanut butter cup. Num num nummy. I don't know why I can't center it. Center. Like that. So, delicious little peanut butter cups. A bite. So, I hope you like these. They're just cute little things that I think are. They're fun to make and they're not, they don't take terribly long either. Even with the fast forwarding I did in the video, I think um, 40 minutes is about where I'm at now. So, and that's with all my talking too. But if you make these guys, definitely share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, on my Facebook, which is Feelings 50 or Crafting Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe and give my videos thumbs up. It helps other people find them when they search. So that way you're helping me out so that it kind of gives the um, helps to keep looming if people actually are still watching, you know. Because um, I don't want to be talking to myself particularly. Well, you guys who are still looming, I definitely appreciate it. And hang in there. There will be more things coming soon. It's always crazy here. Do my best, but thank you guys very much. And I will have more tutorials for you soon.